The NAN AI automation industry is about to get crushed in 2026. And if you're banking your entire business and livelihood on building workflows, you're about to be in for a rude awakening. Now, here's the thing. While 90% of automation creators are going to get wiped out, the ones who understand what I'm about to show you will become the new elite. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to position yourself to not just survive, but thrive in 2026. If you're new to my channel, I'm Rob from Wingrowth. We're an AI implementation and process automation firm, and we work with over 90 clients by now. And on this channel, I help automation professionals and AI enthusiasts stay ahead of market shifts and build sustainable businesses around new technologies like AI. Let me start with a prediction that might not be groundbreaking to you. The skill of building NAN workflows is becoming kind of worthless and pretty fast. Here's why. There's now an overwhelming amount of tutorial content online. Templates are being shared everywhere. AI models like Claude can literally walk you through building almost any workflow step by step. And so the barrier to entry is dropping to zero. What used to take weeks to learn now takes hours. What used to differentiate you from competitors is now available to anyone with an internet connection. And the act of dragging and dropping nodes is not really that much of a skill anymore. There will be opportunity in being absolutely cracked at NAN, especially if you pair it with 0.5 that I'll get into later. While the how is becoming commoditized, the what is becoming more valuable than ever. Knowing which workflows to build, understanding business processes, and identifying automation opportunities that actually bring value. That's where the real value lies. Second prediction. The market we're in is about to experience a cooldown and it's going to crush a lot of the opportunists. Look, if I'm honest here, the NAN space is getting flooded with people who jumped on the bandwagon six months ago and are now positioning themselves as thought leaders. Now, my partner and I have been in the operations and automations for over three years now, and we've seen this pattern before with other make money online trends as well. There's always a gold rush phase where everyone thinks they can get rich quick by teaching what they learned from the last crater last week. But here's what happens next. The market always corrects itself. The companies that bought into unrealistic promises will get burned. The amateurs will move on to the next shiny object to milk it. And the market will consolidate around professionals who actually know what they're doing. Third prediction. The only thing that will differentiate winners from losers in this NAN AI automation space in 2026 will be sales, marketing, and positioning. Think about it logically. Businesses will still be looking for AI implementation. But if the technical skills become commoditized, if AI can help anyone build workflows, and if there are tutorials for everything, what's left? So what will be important is the ability to acquire clients, the ability to communicate value, and the ability to position yourself as the obvious choice. I see so many automation professionals who are incredibly technically talented, but can't sell their way out of a paper bag. The person who can clearly articulate the business impact of automation, who can sell the vision, who can market themselves effectively, they're going to dominate. This is the number one skill everyone in this space should be focusing on right now. Just learn how to sell. My fourth prediction is going to piss a lot of people off, but I think cold outreach systems are going to become even more useless. I know this hits close to home because a lot of AI automation hustlers are really just glorified cold email guys who reposition themselves with the trend. But here's the reality. I used to run a seven figure business around cold email. And I'm telling you right now, it's been getting harder every single month for the past five years. Google is cracking down on sending, spam filters are getting smarter, and people are just getting more resistant to cold email. Heck, I only have a thousand subscribers on YouTube, and I got two cold emails when I went for a 30 minute lunch break today. It's so incredibly noisy in the inboxes. It's getting harder and harder to generate leads from cold email. And the GTM agencies killing it right now, who I personally know or work with, are sales guys who get cracked at tech, not tech guys who are learning foundations of sales. Fifth prediction, companies are going to start hiring automation professionals in-house instead of using agencies or freelancers. Now we're already seeing this with our leads because companies want long-term vision, they want full ownership of their systems, and they want someone who understands their business intimately, not someone who's managing 20 different clients. If they're betting on AI and automation for the long-term, why would they want to be dependent on someone external? Why would they want their critical systems built by people who might disappear next month. Now, there are also concerns about data security, compliance, and intellectual property. 
And companies want a lot of it, if not all of it, under their own roof, controlled by their people. This is actually a massive opportunity if you position yourself right. Instead of trying to build an agency, you can focus on becoming the type of person companies want to hire full time. Or if you can position yourself and show that you're an absolute animal at NAN or similar skills, you could help these companies upskill their in-house people and be a trainer, consultant, or a coach for them. Sixth prediction, we are entering a recursive death spiral of AI generated slop content that's going to make finding real information nearly impossible. Go to r slash automation on Reddit right now. I guarantee 90% of the posts are AI generated slop and so are the comments. There's really no real valuable information being shared in those forums that you can use. Here's the scary part though. AI models use Reddit more than any other source as training data, around 40%. So we are creating a feedback loop where AI models are training on content generated by AI models generated by AI content. It's like making a photocopy of a photocopy. The quality degrades with each iteration. We're really heading toward an informational dead end. This is why building real expertise and sharing genuine insights is going to become incredibly valuable. In a world of AI slop, authentic human knowledge will be gold. And my final prediction, MCP connectivity is going to fundamentally change how we work. It might make traditional automation tools like NAN less relevant. Claude is pushing hard on MCP connections, more software companies are jumping on the MCP bandwagon, and we're moving toward a world where you can control almost everything through natural language from a single AI interface. Imagine sending invoices, checking finances, managing projects, and running your entire business just by talking to Claude. If this vision becomes reality, and I think it will, then software companies will focus more on MCP connectivity than their own user interfaces and UX. The companies with the best AI integrations will win, regardless of how good their traditional interfaces are. This could make tools like NAN less central to how businesses operate. Because why build complex workflows when you can just ask an AI to handle everything? So how do you actually win in this changing landscape? I see two clear paths. Path one is to go deeper into tech. Now, if you love the technical side, don't stop at NAN. Learn real programming. Become the person who understands the why behind technical decisions, not just the how. Because AI is getting really good at the how, but strategic thinking is still uniquely human. The second path is to go deeper into business process optimization. So you focus on understanding businesses, not just the technology. You become a specialist who happens to use AI and automation, not an automation person trying to understand business. You will have to learn sales processes, operational efficiency, and business strategy. And if you position yourself as someone who can transform how companies operate with AI as your tool, you will be way more valuable. I think both paths can work, but you should really pick one and go deep. The middle ground, or being an okay NAN builder with basic business knowledge, that's where you'll get crushed. Now, everything you just heard are my predictions of where the AI automation industry is heading. Only time will tell if my analysis is correct. But if you're committed to learning AI automation and actually providing value to businesses, the best thing you can do right now is to start learning how to find better opportunities for automation. And today's your lucky day, because if you click on this video, you learn exactly how to find hidden automation opportunities in as little as five minutes in different businesses. So go check it out here. And if you want to tag along as we're building wind growth, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel.